I was very clever. In Air India, we never got leave. I was an air hostess for seven years. So I said, okay, fine. For three years, I will work. But I will demand my pound of flesh in three months. Leave. They gave it to me. So it was easy. I went all the way to South America. And at that time, they had a Japanese expo in 1970. So I was able to travel for three months. And my man who was manning the register for, for programming hostesses was twice asked, when is she coming? He says, I don't know, 100 days have not passed by. So he, you know, kept, uh, what should I say, KV on me. Okay. No, never. I've never been biased against. There's been no racial digs. Uh, there hasn't been an assault of any type. But then, you know, when you're in a different country, you put your head down and you follow the customs of that country. You don't put on a false bravado, which a lot of people do. So I went to the remotest areas in Arabia. I went to Riyadh, I went to Dhamam, I went to Dharan, where women are not allowed to talk or walk. I've had no problem. Okay. You go with a happy frame of mind, you go with positivity, and you go with um, sincerity and be without suspicion of the next person, and life is just one easy walk. I've never had a single racial problem. I've never had a single any sort of problem. I didn't, I didn't expect problems, I didn't anticipate problems, and I never got problems. And earlier, when I st first started fly, uh, tra traveling, I would take, I would go by train, I would go in a train and the, I would get into a train station and without looking anything, at that time you didn't have the security of bombs and all, I would go to the railway station, find a, a luggage rack and put, park my luggage there and get a chit for it and then I would finish seeing the whole town without anything in my hand and then at 9 or 10 I would collect my bag and then I would start trudging looking for cheap homes. Usually it would be at the st station itself. It wouldn't be very nice because there could be a lot of pimping and brothelling over there. But who cared? You were sleeping, you were sleeping. And that is how I got cheap rooms. And the next day the same thing in the next station and so on. I've, I've travelled very cheap. You can also travel cheap. I've seen youngsters going on bikes all the way to Ladakh and back. So if you really want to go, what's stopping you? You know, if you really want to go, if you really have the itch, Nothing will stop you, nothing stops me.